Hey y'all, welcome back. And uh, the video, as promised, today we're gonna go meet our new cows. I got some goats that are pretty upset with me because they don't get to come along. But they've gotten really aggressive with these range cubes that I give the cows and so they can't come anymore. For the first couple of days, especially with the two first cows that we got, the red one and the done one, which are still nameless, uh, they were actually helpful because the other two cows seem to be more comfortable with there being other animals there and so they would actually come up get close to me <clears throat> then they started getting really aggressive and uh aggressive as as aggressive as nigerian dwarf goats can be but they were mostly just getting aggressive with pushing the bucket around so they can't come they're not allowed to magnus was supposed to be with me but in the keeping away of the goats he got stuck in the fence so he's not with me right now anyway if you saw the Instagram story or reel or whatever it is um, you saw that I got to introduce you guys to a couple of new well one new cow but she has the baby cow up here and I'm hoping that we will be able to see her today usually I don't have a problem with this so I don't see why I'd have a problem right now but I usually try to come see them twice a day during the first part of the day when it's hotter they're usually up here uh, there's this little grove of trees over here uh, you kind of see them maybe from the camera I'm not sure and then of course the tank which is sadly just getting lower and lower please God let it rain um, they have a really good spot where it's shaded all day and then they got water and our tank is spring fed as some of you might remember but it's spring fed from the top of both sides of it and it's just so hot that the water is evaporating before it gets down so even though our tank has lasted a lot longer than others around here it's slowly disappearing so let's continue to pray for that rain hey girls so anyway, Mama Cow's name is Twilight. She is registered, so her calf is registered as well. We got to name her because as of today, she is 13 days old. And we have had Cowley, the baby, and her mama Twilight for six days, seven days now. Here she comes. Hi, honey. So here is Twilight. <laughs> she's actually standing on a little bit of a hill, a little bit higher than me, so she's actually shorter than this. Okay, hold on, Twilight. Let me give the other cows their treats. So they're not scared. Come on. There you go. Gotta feed them separately because Twilight loves her treats and I wanna let the others get their, their stuff. So the dun cow and the red cow still haven't let me touch them. They're getting more comfortable, so that's fine. But I got a brush yesterday and Twilight, I don't know if she's been brushed before or not, Seemed a little bit confused at first, but she loves it. A little red girl over here. She's definitely the most skittish, but she's getting better. And usually Cowley, the 13-day-old calf, uh, will stay behind her because she is the most skittish. And actually Cowley is red as well. Hi, baby. I know, I know, I know. Here, I'm just gonna... this is the first time I was doing it I wouldn't toss treats at her but she expects them now and she would rather me do that than me get close and she still wants her treats so she's okay with it all right honey so Twilight here is in milk and if I'm petting her or brushing her she actually will let me um, touch her udder so there actually is a chance that I can milk her maybe in the next couple of weeks but I'm not going to push it. She's comfortable with it fine. And if she's not, that's okay. This is about as close as the other two will let me get to them. Ah, and here comes Callie. She's so little. <laughs> Y'all, she's like 30 or 40 pounds. She's so tiny. So Caden's actually the one that named Callie, who is keeping her distance. Uh, he realized we were getting a, you know, baby cow, and he was like, cow, cow, cowly. I was like, that's 
smart. We like it. Let's see if I can get Twilight over here. Say hi properly. Oh, here she comes. Hi, honey. Look. Say hi. <laughs> hi, sweetie. I know. I know it. So like I said, she's registered. Her calf is getting the paperwork done now to be registered as well. And she is the reason that the other two are getting so close. Before she came along, seven whole days ago, you know, they weren't letting me get close enough to really touch them. But here I am. Callie was letting me, or sorry, Twilight was letting me uh, feed her out of my hand by, you know, 18 hours later. And by that evening, I was able to pet her. And I've been just petting her ever since. The others are definitely a lot more trusting of me now, but still don't want to be touched, which is fine. So let's see if we can go back here and see Callie. Right over there. That tiny, tiny little thing right there. Hi, honey. She is very tiny. She has gotten within arm's length of me but I did not want to spook her, so I just sat there. And I'm hoping soon she'll let me actually pet her. So Twilight actually um, is the reason that I'm able to get as close as I am now to the other ladies. So hopefully, I'm really hoping within the next um, few days, they're actually gonna be taking some cubes from me. And then maybe, I don't know, I'm not gonna rush it a couple weeks after that. Maybe they'll actually let me pet them or brush them. I am like 85% sure at this point that the red one is pregnant. And if she is, I would like her to be more comfortable with me by the time that she gives birth. And the problem is we know she was exposed, we know what she was exposed to, but there's a pretty long period of time that she was exposed. So I don't know how far along she is. Um, and we might just have to, the problem is she won't let us really get close enough to, you know, get a vet or anything out here. So we're, I'm just going to work with her, try to calm her down and maybe we can get somebody to come give us a little bit more of an estimate of when we can be expecting, uh, another baby. But anyway, so this is, <laughs> just hoping I drop some. Sorry, baby. That's all of them. So actually what I didn't even get to say on the Instagram video was that, um, so the people that we got Cowley and her mama from, they are, like I said registered, but they usually just um, do, for they breed for beef production. And Cal, or Twilight has actually been milked before. So with her first calf, she was having a little bit of trouble in the field. And so they were able to actually milk her in the field and uh, she just stood there calmly and let them do it. So she has been milked before, but she was not bred for milk production. Um, but I mean, they are dual purpose. I know that I can milk her, you know, we, talking to her owner, she thinks that of all the cows that she had, that Twilight is gonna be the best bet. And just from the seven days that I've spent with her now, I think that I will be able to milk her. Again, Not if not with this calf, the very least the next one but the big big thing here also is once Cowley gets more comfortable with me and I work with her and maybe get her harness trained which I also want to do with Twilight but I really want to work with uh, Cowley as young as I can so with her I can work on getting her trained and then what I can do is after she has you know a calf then I think that she would be the best option I have for a milk cow. That is a few years out. Obviously, she has to reach maturity. She has to carry a calf and then, you know, give birth. But that's kind of where my head's at right now. I have high hopes for Twilight. I don't think I'm going to have to wait till Cowley calves. But um, I really want Cowley to grow up and be very, very comfortable with me being around her all the time. Somebody needs to make another appearance. She is very attention uh, hungry. <laughs> you want me to brush you some more? I know, sweetheart. <laughs> she, just, 
She's like, okay, you're just standing there ignoring me. I know. Here come the rest of them. Let's see what they do. Hi, Kelly. Y'all see how Hi, honey. It's okay. She's so cute. Hi, honey. Hi. Close enough? Okay. So that's our 13 day old calf. I didn't touch her. So that's 13 day old Kelly. <laughs> she is so precious. Uh, yeah, but anyway, so I wanted to introduce you guys to the uh, nice cow that we have and the super sweet, tiny little one who's still very skittish, understandably so. Um, she's She got moved when she was a week old to a brand new place uh, and introduced to a couple of cows that she had no idea who they were. But fortunately, they all got along pretty well from the beginning. But anyway, so that's that's our little herd, if you will. I don't know how many it takes to be a herd, but I'm going to call it our little herd. They're going down to get a drink. There's a shortcut around that way. Dadgummit, y'all. We need rain. And um, a few days less than 100 degrees would be really, really nice. But So that's the cow video. I wanted to introduce them to you guys. And uh, we have a few projects that we're finishing up around the house and some other things. Um, I think we're probably going to stop with animals for a couple few weeks. Um, we're talking about looking into a couple more registered nannies, which would actually be great because at the time that they would be able to get pregnant, would have them calving in, or um, kidding, sorry, in the spring, which I think would probably be a pretty good time for them to have their babies. Um, there's another uh, poultry show coming up, but we want to make sure that, again, we have their housing in place before we actually do that. We knew we could get that chicken coop done before the actual chickens from the last one needed to be put in there, and we did, but we had the materials, and I think next time, just so there's not like any kind of race against the clock, we'll have everything set up before we get them. So we might look at getting something in the end of August, that's when that show is. Maybe not, maybe we don't do anything and we just kind of focus on what we've got for a little bit. But I've got some really mad goats <laughs> because I have to lock them in the fenced yard to keep them away from the cows just because they have gotten so aggressive. <laughs> so they were, uh, they were yelling at me. Sorry y'all. So anyway guys, that's gonna be it from us right now. Um, and I hope you enjoyed meeting our sweet little additions. And when I say little, I mean little. And uh, say, say hi, goats. They're ignoring me. So spiteful. So spiteful. Rude. Okay, well, thanks guys for watching. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you feel so inclined. And God bless.